What exactly is the difference between the Parthenon and the Acropolis, as I strongly suspect that we're going to be using both of those words quite a lot today? Oh, good question. Um, Acropolis basically means high city and relates to everything on this massive rock. It was sometimes known as Cecropia, after the legendary serpent man Cecrops, the supposed first Athenian king. But for simplicity's sake, We'll just call it the Acropolis. All right, sounds good. I think I've got that down. And so what about the Parthenon? Well, the Parthenon is the massive temple that sits in the centre of the complex. We'll be getting a much closer look at that temple towards the end of the tour, alongside various other temples which sit at the top as well. Right. So there are a lot of other ancient structures up on the Acropolis as well as the Parthenon then. Exactly, exactly. Although it's not all ancient, the Acropolis has been many things over the past few thousand years that don't just relate to ancient Athens. Oh, really? Yeah, it's been a religious centre, a celebratory place, a citadel, home to gods, and of course today, one of the most famous tourist attractions in the world. She has withstood many things to still be here today. War, bombardment, earthquakes and more. But she still stands, helping us reach our hand out across history to our ancestors. Ah, I love that. So the Acropolis has been a place of importance not just during ancient Greece, but for millennia since. 